Hi, this is Noel from Cree Restaurant. We're here at the Bally High Resort Centre and we're going to continue our cooking videos, but this time we're going vegetarian. So I'm going to do three dishes on top of each other, um, all off the same ingredients, and show you how to put them together three different ways for three completely different dishes, and then tell you about a couple of more you can do from it. So let's get on in and cooking. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a cauliflower steak seasoned with Ravel Hanout. We'll get to that in a minute. I'm going to do a quick vegetable curry and a quick tomato-based ragu, all at the same time because we're using the same ingredients here. So we're just, again, we're gonna get the two of these on the go straight away. Bit of oil, and again, our onion and garlic. In they go. And with this, you can use any veg you want. So whatever you like, use it. Whatever you don't like, leave it out. I'm using the same veg here. I've got carrots, celery, leek, mushrooms, peppers, bit of courgette. I'm gonna put them all together and give you two very different dishes. And as I said, if you don't like one of them, take it out, add in something you do like. So, hang all of those back there now, and we're going to get a bit of seasoning on them straight away. I'm going to season your veg nice and early, help get the flavour coming out of it. Now, the one that's back here, I'm using Namir. I have many of you probably get in Namir. He does his own curry blend, it's really lovely. So, what you want is just to put that in because we want to get it frying and get the, that lovely flavour going. So I just grab a spoon and show it in here. Just to get that going there straight away. Now that is so boiled very, very fast, so watch that. Okay? The other one, we're just getting it going as well. This is going to be a little lentil and chickpea ragu. Got our courgette chopped up. Everything's chopped about the same size, roughly. You don't have to have any great knife skills for it. So, our cauliflower, so we've cut out the centre two steaks of the cauliflower. And we're just going to cover it with a little bit of oil. As always, rape seed oil. We're going to take this. Now, this is just a combination of flavours, like anything else, um, all spice or any of this. But this one is things like cumin, coriander, fennel, a bit of chilli, but it's not overly spicy. You want to get that on the outside of it and then into your pan. Like that. And then your little bit of oil, add a little bit more to it, stir that around, and then add that on top. We're just going to fry that and then finish it in the oven. Nice and simple. So, this is the one you have to watch because, as I said, the curry, as you can see, very fast, soaks up any liquid that's in there, and that's the one that will catch. We'll add a little bit more, not too much now. We're going to add our liquid in a minute. So, there we go. You just want to get, you can smell them now already, all the, the flavours and the spices coming out of that. So for this one, I'm going to go nice and simple. I add some chilli powder, just for a bit of heat. You don't, whatever you like in heat. If you don't like a lot of heat, just put in a little bit. If you like to blow the head off yourself, go mad. Smoked paprika, much better flavour than normal paprika. I'm going to add a little bit over here too. Top of our cauliflower steak. A few chilli flakes in as well. I like spice. So now we have the two of them going. You get all of them lovely smells from all the spices and then really going. So there's the cauliflower steak. We want to leave it there. We're going to get a really good colour on it before we turn it into the oven to finish. If you try to finish it up here, it gets too black. So finish it in the oven, much better off. Now some bell peppers. So we get them in as well. This is going to be a tomato based one. And as I said, I'll show you two or three things ways of finishing that. This is going to be a little veg curry. So, as you can see, getting a really good flavour there. What I'm going to add now is a bit of water to the curry. And that will start to soak up all of them flavours. Push these around now. So that gives this a good stir. And then straight away, you're going to see the colour of it is changing straight away as it soaks up all the spices. We're just going to let that thicken up and the veg cook out. Nice and simple. You can serve that with cooked cook, you can serve it with rice, whatever you prefer. So this one here now we're getting watering nicely. And again, you can see, you don't want a load of oil down there. It means there's too much in. If that happens, just pour it off. Don't, don't pour it down the sink, keep it, because you flavour that oil. So, 
Don't be afraid of adding too much oil and then wondering what to do. Just pour it up into a little bowl, keep it, you have a lovely seasoned oil. There we go, they're coming along nicely. We're just going to check our pallets out of place now. We have a tongue and tongue here, if you don't have it, just use the spoon. You want to turn that over, turn this one over, and a good colour on them. And it's getting a little bit dry, so not a little bit. That's perfect there now. We'll see how that thickens up. We might have to thicken it a little bit in the end, and if we do, we'll go back to the corn flour again. We may not have to. Now on this one, you can see the veg is cooking lovely. Now you can use fresh chilies if you like, fresh chilies in there. Any veg you like, get it in there. Nice and simple. Now into that, what I've got here is some lentils that have been pre-cooked. Um, if you're going to cook lentils, take a long time. Soak them overnight, then in a pan with some diced veg, low and slow, put in your lentils, some liquid, and just let it cook out nice and slow. I'm going to add that in there. Full of goodness, lentils, particularly if you're vegan um, or you're staying away from dairy and you don't want to do potatoes, stuff like that. So, good protein, carbohydrate, all that, get it all in there. You need a balance. So, when you're doing that, you got to think about what you're putting with it as well. That said, cook, cook is good with both of these. Um, you can both full with rice, you can do noodles. So, you get that cooked down. Now, I'm just going to use tin of tomatoes, chopped tomatoes, they have a super value. Add them in, and you're going to use the tin to measure. So one tin of tomatoes, and then what you want is about two thirds of that tin of water. In. Click with these, always push that in, close that, nobody can get cut into this. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Give that a good mix. And our cottage our stage is really starting to motor. You can see it there. Getting a good colour, so what we're going to do, transfer that onto a tray. All of this, give it a stir around because that's all the spices right there. Then back on top. That's going to take just a few minutes then inside in the oven, which we have preheated to 180. And that's going to take 8, 9, maybe 10 minutes, depending on how thick you cut the cauliflower. Very simple, I'll show you how to check that it's done. So, there we go. As I said, we use just an Amir spice mix, but you can use whatever curry mix you like, but Amir's local, so give it there. And two of them are almost ready. I got some mushrooms, I've left them back till now because what you don't want is them going all the bits. So we're gonna add them in now. You wanna add things like that at the very, very end because they just go very soggy and break apart. And in they go. Now, look at that. So just bringing that out so that the veg is cooked through. And that's two, very quick, well three now in a minute, vegetarian dishes done. Now, what you can do, if you wanna add, you can add chickpeas to this to bulk it out. Um, they're very, very good for you. So we've got them to, you can add them to both. So I'll add some to that, but most of them are gonna go in here. Again, in that goes, close that in. And then just stir them in, you just wanna heat them up. There we go. Nice and quick, easy. Just waiting for the veg to cook out. It's gonna take a few minutes. That's it, and you're done. Very, very quick and simple. I and mean, then you're just gonna taste them. Make sure the seasoning is good. We'll give them an old taste now, one second. That's a little bit. Nice for the heat. Not too hot. That's what I eat. <laughs> so, as I said, with the chili, it's all down to what you like. You know, if you like a lot of chili, bang it in there. If you don't, just leave it out. Use things like the smoked paprika, they won't bring the same heat. They'll bring all that flavor as well. But the smoked paprika is far nicer than just the straight paprika. It has a lovely background to it. So great in dishes like this. And that's it. As I said, with this, you can serve up rice, couscous, noodles. You can have it as it is in a bowl and, and just enjoy it like a big stew. 
and this will freeze really well. So once it goes cold, bang it into your pulse, put it in the freezer and it's ready. And you can create a quick dish. Now what you could do here, lob in some chorizo into this. Yeah, I love you know, if you don't want it vegetarian. Put some chorizo in here. Oh, beautiful. Get a good chorizo. It's a lovely one made back in West Kerry. You get it in the little she shop. Um, Pascal, oh my God, fabulous. So, here we go. Curry, done, veg curry, simple. Rice, couscous, no bods, nice salad with it. Off your uncle, you'll love it. Practically health food, except for all the butter. But anyway, don't tell anybody. Um, and then that's that one done. So we're just gonna give the cauliflower another two or three minutes, and then we're gonna show you that one as well. So now I've got my plate laid up. As I said, I'm gonna put up the tree at one time. So what I've done with the tomato ragu is just some noodles. Now these ones you buy in any supermarket, you just put them into boiling water, you're done. Simple as that. And there you go. Your Saturday night fake away. Look at that, boom, done. Then this is the curry. It's nicely thickened up. Lovely jubbly. And as I said, only a little bit more with this. You could add the noodles to it, you could add it with just a salad, couscous, rice. Well, you can have it with potatoes if you want. There we go. Oh, I've got a good bit of the ragu left. I'm going to do the cauliflower steak now as well and show you just how to check it. So once you pop it out of the oven, get a knife. There. If it goes through it with no effort, that's done. We're just going to pop those on the plate here. Okay. Then we're going to take a little bit of our ragu that we made. And this on top. There's both the garnish and the sauce. Okay. There you go. A lovely vegetarian mini crust. Now I've still got loads of the ragu left. You can keep this, you can freeze it, you can do what you want with it. But I'm going to make a very fast dish out of it. This doesn't get any faster or easier. Because you've done the hard part. So we're going to put this back on the heat. What I've got here, some mussels. Ooh la la. Gotta love mussels. We have some of the best in the world in this country. So I'm just going to pop this open. We're going to throw that into that. And we're going to be ready in two minutes. So thank you, man. And while I'm talking to you here, they'll cook very, very quickly. Mussels, super fast, very tasty, very, very good feel. And here in Ireland, we have the best in the world of them. So pick them up in any fish shop. You can pick them up in supermarkets, the whole lot. But back to our vegetarian. There's a nice, easy vegetarian curry. There's a noodle dish. There's a cauliflower steak. And as I said, with this ragu, you could have also put couscous on the side. You could have done it with rice. If you wanted to take it into a meat, add some chorizo, some chicken. I've just added mussels. We'll pop them out in a second. And from one dish, you're gonna have multiples. Um, so it doesn't get any easier than that with that dish. That'll hold well in the fridge. It'll freeze very, very well, that sauce, once it's made. And so make a larger amount of it, break it down, and then it's ready all of the time. And you can, as I said, add anything you want to it or keep it vegetarian. So that's one sauce, four or five dishes with ease. So with mussels, very, very simple. They're already opening. Never open a mussel once it's cooked. If it's closed, don't eat it. Now they haven't been on long enough for them all to open, but you can see already, they're already starting to pop open. They're literally two minutes away. We're gonna pop back in two minutes to do the mussels. Now, there we go. They've all opened. Lovely smell off of them using the same ragu again. Now sitting during the day, nice lunch dish, sitting looking out at the, the ocean here. Don't tell me it gets any better than that. Pop them in there. Look at that. Big bowl of these. Sit down with your other half, or on your own. And looking out at the sea, eating those. Now that's heaven. In a bowl. And again, that's from the same vegetarian dish. As I said, you could have added chicken, chorizo, fish, it don't matter. It'll taste fabulous in that. So that's another one done. So don't forget that. Do the dishes, take the pictures, pop them up. We want to see them. And uh, we'll talk to you again soon.